Hey guys, this is going to be my review of the Sail Novo e-bike available on Amazon. I'm just going to hit some quick points and then compare it against my other two e-bikes, the Electric XP Lite and the Hay Bike Ranger. All right, so first of all, there's I have this down as a pro slash con. The gearing, uh, it only has one one speed, and it's a low speed. So that's both good and bad. You know, it's good because uh, the bike is rather heavy for its size; it's 50 pounds. And if you're going to have any kind of usefulness with the battery uh, dead, then you have to have a lower gear. So it's geared; you can actually get it going from a standstill and. It's good for between seven and nine miles an hour at a comfortable cadence. And beyond that, um, plan on being electric. Um, the stock seat was was awful. Um, it had it had what like a fake perennial cutout here, but then um, but that it would actually it actually applied pressure there, which made it really bad. So I replaced it with this popular one from uh, from Amazon forget what it's called, but I'll, I'll look it up and I'll put a link in the video description down there. It's a good one. Only 25 bucks too. The overall build quality is uh, really good. Um, it's as good as my electric uh, XP Lite, which costs almost twice as much. So that's saying something. Um, it also has some certifications here, you can see, which a lot of e-bikes don't, especially not at this $500 price point. Um, it's got a rear shock which is quite functional. And even though you only have 14 inch wheels, it's actually got a pretty decent ride because of that rear shock. And then when you get a little bit cushier seat or, or one with springs, then it gets even better. You know, you're gonna still feel it through your hands because there's nothing on the front end, but oh well. I like that they resisted the temptation to give it off-road um, knobby tires. Uh, you can see my um, XP Lite has knobbies on the Sail Novo has a four inch fat knobbies. This is actually is actually good that they don't pretend that it's got off-road prowess. Um, I mentioned earlier that the gearing is kind of low, so you don't really get any exercise unless it's the bike is turned off or you're just getting started. So as an exercise, as one that's gonna give you exercise, um, keep looking, this is not for that. Uh, another nice thing about this bike is it has got integral lighting. Um, under here is a brake light slash tail light. Um, that works pretty well. This is just a piece of flare. And this too, there's nothing there. Maybe in other market there's a turn signal there, but not here. Um, when you turn the lights on with this thumb switch here, uh, that light comes on solid. And then when you squeeze the brakes, it blinks. So that's nice. And you can see it's nicely integrated into the frame. And same thing with the headlight. Um, it's got a dual dual LED headlight here. Um, it's good for about 10 or 12 miles an hour. It's not good for the full 18.6 miles per hour. You might ask why 18.6 miles an hour? Well, I suspect it's because they wanted to comply with some foreign um, speed limit, which 18.6 uh, miles per hour is 30 kilometers per hour. So that's what that is. Um, don't be disappointed that it only goes 18.6 because that is plenty fast on these little 14 inch wheels um, with the tall handlebar stem. The steering's pretty twitchy. Um, when you take one hand off to signal a turn, you feel a little bit like you're taking your life in your hands. So, um, you know, 15 miles an hour would be fine. 18 is, 18 and a half is plenty. Um, I don't have the key in it right now, but it's got three speed settings which only relate to the throttle it just limits your top speed to either um, 6 12 or 18 and a half miles an hour and then when you pedal it slowly dials in the assistance and it dials in more and more as long as you pedal but somehow it's got a sensor in there where once you reach uh, once you get to the point where you're ghost pedaling it doesn't help you anymore it just cuts off so you'll find that it kind of cycles on and off if you're trying to pedal so this is kind of a, it's a really good lower speed uh, e-bike. Um, the only real con I think is that the steering can be twitchy at high speed, so be careful. Um, other than that, I paid about 480 bucks for this in July, 2022. Um, I looked and they're now $500. You know how Amazon is always adjusting their prices. Um, I wouldn't pay too much more than that. Um, 
but I'm not sad that I got it. It's a, I love the way the frame looks. It's not too girly. It's got, it's one of the few with rear suspension, like a proper rear suspension. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And especially if you're gonna be the kind of person that just cruises around on throttle, this is a good one. You just, um, the way to do it is you pedal like, you pedal your little heart out until you get to go about, you know, 10 or 12 miles an hour. And then you stop pedaling and let the throttle take over. That gets your uh, battery life a little bit longer. Uh, one last thing, uh, the battery is um, 36 volts, 10.4 amp hours. So it doesn't have, they advertise a, a 500 watt motor. It doesn't feel like a 500 watt motor at all. Um, maybe the motor can handle it, but it's definitely not getting 500 watts from the battery pack because my uh, Hay Bike Ranger has a 500 watt motor. And even with a bigger diameter wheel, it's a lot quicker. That's a 48 volt, 15 amp hour pack on there behind the, uh, behind the seat. So anyway, nice little bike. Uh, it's a budget bike and don't plan on getting too much exercise on it unless you're just kind of cruising around at low speed. But uh, I would definitely buy it again. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, check the video description below for more and feel free to answer, ask any questions. See you next time.